people kind of understand uh, an approach. Um, there's not any, uh, I wouldn't say that there's a standard and there's not anything that works. Um, you know, academically, I think that approach is, is going to probably uh, prove out. Um, but in terms of right now, if a client comes to me and says, hey, I've got a job and it's next week and I need to deliver to 10,000 people, I'm not going to recommend <laughs> anything other than uh, something tried and true like HLS. Um, if, you know, and and we, could, we can cut segments down to you know, two seconds if they want low latency like that. But um, you know, I, I think with, as, these, uh, as these low latency revisions come out to the existing protocols, they keep kind of approaching sending a constant byte stream because the Apple um, LHL, or LHLS, um, I mean, they're basically like, okay, well, here's a 200 millisecond segment and here's another 200 millisecond segment. It's like, well, at a certain point, you're just delivering, uh, you know, how many milliseconds of video are in, an, in a, or in a 1500 byte packet, you know, and, and I think it's, we're getting closer and closer back to unicast streaming. Um, that's, you know, after we, after we sacrificed our TMP and all of that, um, yeah. I think we're just going to kind of end up back there. <laughs> From the delivery side, we haven't been seeing huge uptakes of the low latency HLS dash, or well, I don't think low latency HLS is ready yet, frankly, but uh, even the dash or CMAF ones, CMAF inherently is a little better at low latency for reasons we won't get into now, but um, it seems that the people that want to do, if you want to beat TV handedly, if you, like, so TV is about a 10 second latency, give or take. And if you really want to beat that, it, we're still in proprietary protocols in the millions of users. Again, if you have 10,000 users, as we've been saying, there's ways to do this. If you're Disney Plus, you're back to HTTP-based protocols. And I think the thing that we really need to get rid of, regardless of, of whether we transfer files or, or how we move this data in a bitstream or files, is that TCP handshake of, yes, I received those, those video set, uh, files. It's already too late to tell me if you haven't most of the time. So if you're not getting them, just wait till you get the next one and, and drop it on the floor until you, you know, until you're ready to go, um, which is more of the, the UDP style of, of technologies. And I think in order to reach these latencies at these scales, we can't have the act of the TCP anymore. 